Hi guys. No, 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 no. That's not good enough. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to mix chicken feed, your own chicken feed, at your home. Now this video clearly needed a special intro. Why? Because this has been the most requested topic on my YouTube channel. And rightly so, because chicken feeds can mean to be very expensive. So please get a pen and paper and let's get started. So guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel. If you're new to the channel, I'm a practicing medical doctor who is very passionate about poultry farming. And on this channel, Farm Up, I teach you guys everything to do with poultry farming. How to mix chicken feed, how to do anything so that you do it simpler, cheaper, and make more money. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on anything. And don't forget to hit that like button. Now today, like I said, we're going to be talking about how to mix your own chicken feed. This has been a very requested video and I understand why. But before we watch this video, I would very strongly request that you watch my previous video in this series. I leave the link right up here. So if you haven't watched it, just pause this video, watch that video, then you can always come back to this video. Now you'll need a notebook, yeah? You'll need a notebook. I also have my notebook here because we're going to have a lot of numbers in here. It's not going to be hard. I know a lot of people are scared of mathematics. No, it's not mathematics. It's just numbers, yeah? You're going to have to note down a number of things that you probably have to go to the next time that you need, you know, to do the mixing yourself. Now, like I said in my previous video, the most important thing when mixing your own chicken feed is the protein. We call it DCP, digestible crude protein. It's the most important thing. If you get it right, then you're sorted. The other things are quite easy to do, you know, quite easy to calculate, like water, the calcium, the vitamins. Those are very easy. You'll just buy them, you know, off the market. But the protein, very, very important. Now, different stages of chickens and different types of chickens will need different amounts of the digestible crude protein in their feeds. An example, layer chickens will need 8%. I always use layers because that's my passion. That's what I have on the farm. But for example, broilers will need between 22 and 24%. Layers will need 18% of digestible crude protein. And even at the different stages, you know, they will need different amounts. So I'm going to put up a list on the screen of the percentage of proteins that's present in the common feeds that we give to our chickens so just pause and note them down because you're going to need them a lot in the future so to make 70 kilograms of layer feed as an example you will need 34 kilograms of whole maize 12 kilograms of soybean or soya depending on what you call it 8 kilograms of fish meal 10 kilograms of maize bran and 6 kilograms of calcium that is for laying bites. Now using the percentages of crude protein that I already gave you in the list earlier on, we can be able to calculate that the amount of crude protein in maize will be, you know, 8.23% of 34 kilograms, which is 2.8 kilograms. So that means in every 34 kilograms of whole maize, you only have 2.8 kilograms of protein. Then for soybean, 45% of 12 kilograms will be 5.4 kilograms. Silverfish, 55% of 8 kilograms will be 4.4 kilograms. Limestone has totally no protein, so it will be 0 kilograms. Then maize bran is 7% of 10 kilograms, so it will be 0 0.7 kilograms. So if you get all this together, our protein percentage is going to be 13.3%. So our 70 kilogram bag of feed is going to have 13.3 kilograms of protein. And if we are to change this to a percentage, 13.3 kilograms of 70 kilograms is 19%. And remember our minimum, 18%. So 19% will work just fine. So I'm going to be using components that are very readily available around my area. You know, Uganda, Kenya, and the countries around. If you're in any of these countries, you should be able to get these things. But I believe it, they are very accessible in other countries you know if you're in the UK if you're in South Africa I believe some of these things like whole maize sunflower cake uh, soybean should be very easily accessible so I'm just going to put them up on the screen the different amounts for the different kinds of feed <music> 
notice that all this will be for mixing a 70 kilogram bag of the feed so if for example you want to mix a 140 kilogram bag you just multiply times two so guys by now you'll have noticed that there are additional things that you didn't expect things like toxin binders coccidiostat enzymes and other amino acids what amino acids amino acids are proteins but some of these amino acids need to be added because they are very necessary and important and some of these feeds that we give don't contain these amino acids in the right amounts so you need to supplement with them otherwise you won't get the production that you need then things like coccidiostat drugs coccidiostat drugs prevent the growth of the parasites that cause coccidiosis now why is this important it's very very difficult to control coccidiosis why because it's just everywhere in the chicken house so if you're going to be mixing your own chicken feed and you don't add a coccidiostat you're going to be in a lot of trouble because it will be very easy for you to develop you know coccidiosis and then other things like enzymes you know this help in digestion of the feeds for the chickens then you'll have noticed that the calcium percentages are low in broilers and even for layers until the point of laying why is that because excess calcium for the younger birds is toxic it destroys the kidneys of the birds so make sure you do just as i have told you give those low amounts then when the birds start laying you can always start giving them high amounts of the calcium because then it's important you know for formation of the eggshells now you might be complaining hey in our country we don't have some of these things we don't have sunflower maybe we have barley and we don't have sunflower or we have wheat and we don't have all maize what do i do well i've got you sorted too now we're going to use something called the pearson square the pearson square is used to help you calculate the amount of dcp the protein that you'll need in your feeds to make a certain percentage sounds complex right let me simplify it for you so right here is our pearson square in the center of this square, we're going to put the percentage of DCP that we want to attain. In this case, it will be 18%. Then we're going to be using soya and maize in order to form our feed. So soya has 45% protein and maize has 8.23% protein. Then the next step will be to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So 45 minus 18 will give us 27 parts. That's 27 parts of maize. Then 18 minus 8.23 will give us 9.77. That's 9.77 parts of soya. So in order to mix our feed, we shall need 9.77 parts of soya for every 27 parts of maize. So as an example, if you want to make 100 kilograms of feed using soya and maize, we shall get for soya 9.77 out of 36.77, which is the total number of parts of maize and soya put together times 100, which will give us 26.6 kilograms. And for maize, it will be 27 out of 36.77 times 100, which will give us 73.4 kilograms. So guys, that was it. I've tried my very best to explain. I hope it's as simple as possible. So I hope you can mix the chicken feeds now, but please make certain to source all your components from places where they are of good quality. If you get poor quality components, then you're going to have poor quality feed and you're going to get very poor production. And then be certain to use the correct ratios, the exact amounts that I've written down for you. And then do this if you're certain that you can handle, you know, if you can get everything, the right quality, then do this. If you cannot handle, then I, I don't advise you to even try. Why? Because you're going to be making losses as you're trying, yeah? Until you're certain you can do it well, I advise you to, you know, go for places where you can use a premix, yeah? you know, a premix like I do on my farm. I just add the maize brand, the broken maize and the calcium, yeah? But if you're certain, you can maintain the percentages Oh, if the feeds are just too expensive. I know places where even the concentrates are just too expensive. If the concentrates are just too expensive, please go this way. It might be way cheaper for you and, you know, more cost saving for you. I don't advise people to buy, you know, fully mixed feeds. Like, you know, everything just mixed. That's just too expensive. Even I would never handle it. So for more videos on poultry farming, you can click on the link right here. And then please click here to subscribe. See you next time on the same channel. Lots of love.